in 2021, I made a video about how to use guest tickets at SeaWorld because I'd made a video about the different annual passes and people had lots of questions about how to use guest tickets. Well, it's been a couple years and it feels like that video needs a little bit of a refresh. So let's talk today about how to use guest tickets in 2024 at SeaWorld Orlando. So the first question is, which passes get free tickets? So SeaWorld Orlando offers five pass types, fun card, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum, but only the top three passes, silver, gold, and platinum, receive guest tickets. Now, how many guest tickets do you get? Well, each pass is a little bit different. Silver, gold, and platinum passes receive different quantities of guest tickets and the tickets are offered on a rolling calendar, meaning you can't just use them whenever you want. There is a set schedule for when they have to be used, and if you don't use them, you lose them. So for silver pass holders, you receive two free guest tickets. One can be used from January through September, and the other one is used towards the end of the year from the end of September through December 30th. Gold pass holders receive four guest tickets. One can be used from January to May. Two tickets can be used between May and September. And one ticket can be used from the end of September through the end of December. Platinum pass holders receive six guest tickets. Two can be used between January and May. Two between May and September. And additional two can be used between September and December. Now, how many times can you use the tickets? Now, this is a question that I was asked so many times and it kind of surprised me because I just assumed you could only use them once. And that is correct. You can't only use them once. So you have, as a silver pass holder, you have one ticket to be used between January and the end of September. You can only use that ticket once. It's not once per visit to the park. It is one time only. But don't, don't, don't panic. There are other times throughout the year you can get additional tickets. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But it is only one time. So a Platinum Pass holder, you get six free tickets, but you can only use two at a time and at certain times throughout the year, not six per visit. Now, where can you use guest tickets? This is a very good question. For the longest time, there was only the option to have a one park pass or the Platinum Pass, which gives you access to all of the parks. And so it can be a little confusing. Well, which park do we get to use this at? So if you have a one park pass, the tickets are only good for, say, SeaWorld Orlando. If that's all you have is the one park, that's where your ticket can be used. But if you happen to have the two or four park pass for Florida, the tickets can be used at any of the parks in the state of Florida. But again, it's only one ticket not one ticket per park but one ticket so say you want to visit bush gardens and SeaWorld in the month of december you have one ticket to use you can take one guest to either SeaWorld or bush gardens this is also the same for platinum pass holders you have access to get into all of the parks but the platinum pass only gives you the guest tickets for the state you live in so if you live in the state of florida your guest tickets work in florida if you live in texas they work in texas virginia virginia california california you cannot use a free guest ticket if you have a platinum pass from california in the state of florida are there any blockout dates for the guest tickets? There appears to only be two days where you cannot use the guest ticket, and that would be on December 31st and on January 1st. These are very busy days in the park, people celebrating New Year's, and so those appear to be the only days that you cannot use the guest tickets. But make sure to check back for additional days as well. How do you redeem the guest tickets? There's two ways you can do this. One is you can go to your SeaWorld account, go to rewards and then find where it says free pass member ticket and click redeem reward it'll tell you at the bottom what the date is that it can be redeemed through and which parks it can be used at or you can go to the kiosks at like SeaWorld orlando go to the front of the park there are kiosks before you get to the ticket booths where you can go and you can scan your pass and click on the redeem the ticket and use it right then. If you do redeem it at the park, 
the ticket does have to be used for admission that day. Now, an important note on guest tickets once you've redeemed them is that you are required as the pass holder to accompany your guest as they enter the park. Once you're in the park, they can do what they want, but you are required to be there and enter the park with them. So the time that I've had a guest go with me, I had them go ahead of me, they had their tickets scanned, there's no questions, but the policy is stated across the SeaWorld website, you must be there with your guests. So don't take a chance of them having a rough start to their, to their visit to the park by not being there with them. Just go be there with them. Don't send them on their own with a guest ticket. There could be an issue and just save everyone the hassle and be there with them. Now, this also means you cannot sell or give this ticket to another person. There are groups out there where, sadly, people are constantly asking for free tickets, and I believe we're seeing that SeaWorld crack down on that more. Recently on a visit, as I scanned my, my pass to go into the park, I was actually asked to show my ID, which is fine. I'm fine with that, uh, because there have been pe people who are buying the annual passes and then letting people use them, which is totally against the rules. Don't do that. Don't, don't be the cause of problems. SeaWorld is one of the few parks that offers free guest tickets, not just the discount on tickets, but free guest tickets. So don't ruin it for everyone by not following the rules. So if you have a free guest ticket, take your guests with you, do not send them by themselves, and do not give your guest tickets to anyone else. Now, as an annual pass holder throughout the year, you may receive additional bonus guest tickets. These will generally be for a couple of days or maybe for the entire month. Make sure to check the dates, but they'll usually be when the park is a little bit slower or around the holidays where they're hoping more people will come to the park. And also there are times when SeaWorld will offer pass holders the ability to purchase one or more tickets at a very discounted price. Now, you may be wondering, what do your guests get to experience? Well, they get to experience all the rides, the attractions, the shows, and the seasonal events. Now, they will not receive any discounts on food, drinks, merchandise, or experiences during their visit, but everything else they get to enjoy. Do remember, though, that the Sky Tower and Paddle Boats are an additional charge. Currently, a single-day ticket to SeaWorld Orlando starts at about $139. The fact that they're giving you two to six free guest tickets in a year is a tremendous amount of money that you are saving if you want to take guests with you to the park. So that may help you decide which annual pass you want to purchase based on how many times you think you'll be taking guests with you. So consider that when you're buying your annual pass. So that is an updated look at how to use guest tickets at SeaWorld Orlando. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them if I can. Talk to you guys next time on the next Ant on the Move video.